Right, so system specs Ryzen 3600, 16 gigs of DDR4 Crucial Ballistics, 3200 MHz RAM. It's got an MSI Tomahawk motherboard, it's got a GTX 1050 Ti, it's got a 650 watt power supply from Be Quiet, it's got a 980 Pro, a 980 500 gig S, uh, NVMe for boot, it's got a 1 terabyte hard drive, that's for basically backup and some games. Uh, it's housed in the Nova Mesh ARGB case from Bit Phoenix. <laughs> This case includes four ARGB fans, it's got a ARGB control at the back of the case itself which is controlled by the reset button as you can see below. The cooler is a deep cool AK400 but I put my own ARGB fan from Thermorite on here, it's a static pressure 2000 RPM fan. So I have done thermal testing but first of all I want to show you what size graphs card can fit in here. Says Burr, you can fit a 12 inch graphs card because this is a very small case. And what we'll do is go like this, and it is let's have a look 18, 18 inches long. So that's basically 18 inches. Let's have a look at that. So that is 14 and a half inches and the depth obviously let's have a look go like that whoop over there and press that down it is eight and a half inches in depth so uh the front bike here is there's no dust filter it's just mesh essentially it does have a filter at the bottom but it's one of those cheapy type ones the power supply is based on the bottom it's got a lot of ventilation on top of here for airflow. It does have a uh, mounting for a three and a half inch drive or a two and a half inch drive. It, do it does support ATX, but as you can see, I've had to put the cable, the cables for this cut out by here. And it supports micro ATX as well. Micro ATX would probably look the best in this as it is majority a micro ATX case. The Unfortunately, the uh, these are the ones that come off. Unfortunately, it does have this little mechanism right here which you unscrew, and it just keeps the graphics card kind of situated in in position. Uh, this case is about seventy odd pound on uh, I believe a scan or CCL which I saw it at. So you know, it's not it's a budget case. It does come with temp glass on the on the side by here, which I can show you. Temp glass. It does have a metal metal frame on each side, so it does look quite like nice. It is a tinted kind of uh, temp glass, so that's quite nice. The back panel. Uh, the back panel by here, as you can see, side of the cables. Right. So back panel. It's flimsy, it's cheap, it's centi a pound, what do you expect really? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn it around through so you can have a look. And yes, excuse my cable management, this case is very cramped at the back. So uh, here are the uh, front panel AIOs, uh, front panel by here, it's got two USB 3s, a big power switch button, and then it's got a headphone and microphone. Uh, it does have indicators for the hard drive. And as what you can see by here, this is the included ARGB controller. So it does not support 4-pin PWM, which I'm a little bit annoyed at because I like 4-pin because everyone should do it. 3-pin should just die. Uh, the case itself is quite cramped. It doesn't fit very long power supplies as this cage by here 
way here under here isn't removable. Well, it is removable from the bottom, but it's a bit of a pain. The installation was rather tight, as you can see the cables. There's not a lot of room, so I couldn't do a lot of cable management. But for a cent odd quid cable, it's not bad. Uh, for a case, it's not bad at all. Um, the thermals, they're okay. I wish. I do wish they would have put in a bit more faster fans because these fans are quite not like they don't they don't generate a lot of RPM so they're not going to push a lot of air. But then saying that, my test my performance my performance wasn't too bad. It kept the temps quite low. Uh, the CPU uh, it hit I believe it was sixty seven Celsius at the highest. So you know. This is a Ryzen 3600, but what I'll say is PBO is enabled and everything's also just goes clock for clock when it went. 